This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is April 1st, 2016. During the Pleistocene era, the Neanderthal was the dominant biped uh, in the world, and then late in that era, the Homo sapien appeared out of Africa. And today, of course, there are no Neanderthals, uh, but there are plenty of us Homo sapiens. And the common belief is that we killed them off. We killed the Neanderthals off. But the truth is very different to that. There is Neanderthal DNA in our DNA. So what looks like happened actually was that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, well, there was a lot of monkey business going on between the two. And over time, the human DNA began to dominate the Neanderthal DNA. Well, the common rhetoric is that OTT is killing television. Uh, part, the cord cutting discussions are part of that rhetoric and of course the falling television viewing numbers are part of that rhetoric, OTT killing television. The truth however I think is much more close to the Neanderthal story. There are even signs that OTT and television are already beginning to cohabit, beginning to live together. DVRs are beginning to blend the two experience. For example, Channel Master this week said that they added to its free-to-air DVR Plus uh, a web channel called Newsy. This is a 24-hour news channel. And so now free-to-air subscribers paying no more money at all can watch Newsy, which is an advertising supported service uh, right there from their DVR Plus. They can also rent movies through Vudu, they can watch YouTube videos, and they can even get premium cable channels on their DVR Plus, but they'll have to subscribe to Sling TV to, for $20 a month to get that. TiVo 2 is blending OTT with regular television. Uh, Hulu, Netflix is blended right in there with your cable television. For example, I came to the show Superstore quite late, quite like that, that comedy series, uh, and I set a season pass on my TiVo and came back a few days later. And yes, indeed, there was a couple of recorded episodes, but I had every single episode available to me because TiVo had found Superstore in Hulu. And so I could go back all the way to episode one, watch and catch up to what was currently being aired on live television. So TiVo and DVR Plus might make you think that actually TV is going to absorb OTT. But the truth is that that is just not going to happen. And here's why. People are changing in the way they think about video. The young do not think about it in the same way that we do. For example, Gen Z's born between 1995 and 2012, well, 70% prefer streaming to television. Uh, and if they had to choose just one device, that one device would not be television. Not a single one nominated television as the one device that they would keep. 80% uh, uh, say they are expressing themselves artistically and that video for 25% of them is a way that they do it. 25% post, uh, post videos uh, to express their creativity. Millennials, well, it's a very similar story. They're a bit older, so they're actually watching television a bit more, but OTT is very important to them, and so is social. 91% use social media, spending about six hours a week uh, watching it, and free online is also very important. 88% use that, spending about 6.2 hours a week. Uh, television is still there too, uh, 60, but only 62% are using it on a regular basis and watching for 8.2 hours a week. Uh, uh, and SVOD, which is much more important to them, Netflix and Hulu, etc., 76% have SVOD and watch for 8.8 .8 hours, more than, in other words, more than television. And they're also snacking on things like Vine, 27% of them use that, and Snapchat, a third use that. 
Uh, so video is part of a far broader picture for the young. It is a picture that sees creator and consumer, often one and the same person. It is where social is as important as the video about which it is talking. Now, what does this mean for entertainment? Well, the new stars are using all of these mechanisms to reach their uh, their fans. For example, Periscope star Amanda Oleander can reach out to her fans and deliver a live video anytime she's doing anything interesting. And the way she tells them it's going to happen, the, the way this live broadcast is is broadcast to the masses. Well, it's social TV. She it's social media. She lets them know through social media. Uh, awesomeness TV allows the tween girls that that are the target of the service to anoint the new stars for example Cameron Diaz well they were the ones that connected to him and made him a big star on awesomeness TV they were also the ones that demanded that he be in a movie uh, and so guess what awesomeness TV made expelled now this did not make any Hollywood lists but it was a huge hit with that tween audience. In this new entertainment world, live is delivered by, by products like Periscope, Twitch, and Mercat, on demand by Vine, YouTube, and Vessel, and narrative forms by services like Netflix, Hulu, and yes, even television, and social is the fabric which binds it all together. It's how people find things, how they talk about them, and it really is a very integral part of that experience. So when we look at entertainment going forward, it is a very fragmented thing between a lot of disparate products and pieces and services. Uh, and uh, it is simply not just about video and narrative video anymore. So just as the Neanderthal was absorbed and subsumed by Homo sapiens, OTT is going to absorb and subsume television. And that's what we're all about here at Endscreen Media. We'll be talking about that transition in the months and years to come. We'll see you again next time.